This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, good morning and uh, let's start. So today is a brand new topic which we are going to discuss, uh, which is Terraform guys. Uh, Terraform is something which is very, very important where uh, without this one, your, your resume won't be shortlisted. That important day, uh, so much of important, especially if you are in the US and UK, right? It, it, it is like uh, they're not going to even consider your resume if you don't have the Terraform, okay? Right. So coming back, what exactly is Terraform? Now, either you take AWS. Now, if I take AWS, <clears throat> if you take AWS and how exactly we're going to deploy things in AWS is we're going to use cloud formation template. Cloud formation templates. When it comes to Azure, right, we're going to deploy using ARM templates. That means Azure Resource Manager templates. Now, if you take AWS, right, the templates can be written uh, basically in JSON or YAML. Right now, Azure ARM templates right now only supported in JSON. Okay, so that means you need to have certain understanding about json or yaml uh, in order to proceed with the uh, uh, configuration basically now the, this is actually called as infrastructure as a code infrastructure as a code or iac iac okay so that means whatever you want to whatever you want to perform whatever you want to do whatever the infrastructure you want to deploy so what you need to do you can actually draft that in a cloud which is called declarative guys so you're going to draft everything like something like uh, i want a vpc i want five subnets i want routing tables i want virtual machines like this you're going to draft everything and then you're going to deploy that one so that's why it is actually called as templates now one of the problem with using uh, aws or azure right so first thing is first thing is uh, json or json like i can say json ml is quite little easy but when but i'll say json has a has a learning curve that means it's not so easy like you're going to deploy like complex environments by uh, just by understanding what is JSON and YAML. You need to go deep inside. You understand how things work it out in cloud formation, everything. So what will happen is it will basically uh, the JSON and YAML. You need to study a lot to understand what are the services it install and, uh, and then you need to deploy it. And uh, the JSON is not uh, as a steep learning curve. I can say like has a steep learning curve. have a steep learning curve fine <clears throat> what's next now the next thing what you need to understand is uh, you, you cannot use the same code again and again so it is the same case in terraform also but so terraform is a single tool guys you can use it for aws and uh, azure the single tool but many people say that one uh, it is like cloud agnostic that means irrespective of the cloud you can use the terraform but it is not right it's not exactly true because the tool is same yes i can ac I accept that one the tool is same for aws or azure but that is not the same case inside i mean the code always differs so you can completely call itself as a cloud agnostic because i can create one template imagine i'm going to create one template right and i'm going to use the same plate for uh, aws azure <clears throat> as well as gcp now this is completely cloud agnostic now that is not the case here many people think that terraform is one tool you can use it for all all aws azure dev or azure, uh, gcp vmware everything yes that is right but inside the code differ that means so even the terraform is the same tool i need to create separate code for aws separate code for azure and for every every cloud or every uh, vendor right i need to create a separate code the tool might be same so i can simply say that one it is only half cloud agnostic not fully cloud agnostic okay next is <clears throat> next one thing is in aws and azure right one of the at least i can say in aws 
what one of the problem is you can't really check it out uh, a dry run actually what is a dry run means you want to check it out how your code behaves actually i think azure it, there is an option to basically debug and everything but most probably imagine i want to run some code and i really don't know until you deploy that one so the problem is in uh, in uh, azure and aws uh, cloud formation arm templates right we cannot <clears throat> run a we cannot perform a dry run to check the early errors actually check check it out like what exactly it is deploying and what might be the issues third one is we cannot import the existing because once if you by any chance deployed the things manually right so instead of using the uh, cloud formation or, or azure arm templates right if you deploy the infrastructure manually what i'm trying to say is imagine if you go to the aws console and i'll say i'll sign into a console and if you deploy manual that means i'll go to ec2 and i manually deploy an instance right that is not right why because once you once you are trying to use a infrastructure as a code right you need to do all the deployments from the code itself you need to update the code like if i want one server update the by one server the code you need to do it everything <clears throat> using the code you should not do manually but by unfortunately by some mistake someone has deployed you went on a leave and someone has deployed manually and the people asked because you went for two weeks leave and by the time that machine went to prod now it's very tough for you to understand okay how exactly i need to do now <laughs> it's not in my code but that means you need to import the resource in the code but the problem here is in aws and as you record there is an option to import but i really not tested it guys but until right now what my idea is you cannot import import the instances or delete the instances or i can say import the instances uh, from into, into the into the code which are created manually that means imagine you created something manual and you want to imp imp import that into a cloud formation template right it is little tough there is some cloud former and uh, all these things but it's not that easy it's, it's it's tough actually okay next is if you see our uh, json or i can say like uh, cloud formation or azure right azure on right or slow guys it's not that fast it'll take little time uh, to deploy the things but so but terraform is not like that it will be very fast the deployment is very fast actually okay now these these uh, these are the some disadvantages when you are using the cloud formation templates as well as the arm templates in azure now how terraform can solve this now terraform is actually actually like a, i can say like created or developed by hashicorp Now the other tools in HashiCorp are one of the thing which we are going to use it Packer, Vagrant, Vault, Console. Some of the Vagrant, right? G R A N T, Vagrant. Just like a some virtualization guys. Vagrant is used for like a VMware workstation something like that. These are the other tools. Now this Terraform was been written using the uh, HCL actually HashiCorp Corp, uh, HashiCorp language a separate language. It looks like a little bit of JSON But it is much more easier if you are trying to read a JSON if you're trying to read the Terraform code, right? You will feel Terraform code is is easy to read and easy to maintain now Many people say that one Terraform is easy. You can deploy it. that is not the true guys now Terraform is very easy if you are trying to do some basic stuff, okay basic stuff like uh, uh, basic stuff like uh, deploying like a VPC deploying like all, all these things right like the basic stuff it will work very well subnets EC2 and everything but but what will happen is it will it will not be the case if you are deploying complex environments actually it will has its own lot of things it is also having a steep learning curve so I don't say that it is easy but it is also having a learning curve but but if you compare if once you understand the terraform right you feel it is easy when compared to uh, aws cloud formation or azure arm templates actually now advantage is i can say like uh, not a steep learning curve
syntax is 